Could you please explain about yourself? Uh, good afternoon, sir. First of all, thank you for giving me this opportunity. I'm Niharika Reddy. Uh, I'm pursuing. I'm from Hyderabad. I'm pursuing my degree from Pratibha Degree College. I've completed my intermediate in NRI Junior College in KPHB Colony. I'm uh, completed my SSC in Vaishnavi Olympia School in Sri Sai Hills. Um, my father is a bike mechanic in Krishnanagar. He have his own shop, and my mother is a beautician. Uh, she had been in that field for five years, and I have a sibling. Now he is preparing from MZ. Like, uh, how was the experience at the workshop? Uh, actually, we have gained a lot of knowledge uh, based on our degree and here. Uh, we have to got to know about virtual world IT sectors and uh, what was the role of uh, developers and testers in that field. Okay. Like, uh, do you know who will do the smoke testing? Yes, sir. Testers will do the smoke testing. And uh, who will do the sanity testing? So, sorry, sir. Who will do the sanity testing? Sanity testing uh, developers. Are you sure? Yes, sir. How many types of environments do we have, Niharika? Uh, actually, we have five types of environment. Local, Dave, uh, local, Dave. Uh, in local, uh, developer will write the code for 100%. Uh, in Dave, he will be uh, giving it for user interface. Uh, then he'll do the Q, uh, unit testing. Then it will be for uh, uh, testers. Okay. Like how many types of environments do we have? Uh, five types. You are telling, you are telling only two. No. What about okay. three? Local dev. And Local dev uh, testing. Yeah, testing. Uh, testing production management. Production and maintenance. 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 Are you sure? Yes. These are the phases, SDLC phases. Okay. I'm asking about the environment. Local dev, QA. Uh, local de dev, QA. Product. Staging. Okay, sir. Staging. And production. Okay. Like, uh, if I give the username field, Niharika, mm. if I give the username field, how you are checking, how you are verifying? Uh, username field. Sir. Yes. Okay. Um, firstly, I will check whether uh, we have any special ke uh, special keys like uh, numbers and name should be in between uh, 50 characters is that's all it's enough okay. more than 50 then it will be for uh, we will consider it as a defect okay and if i give the phone number field how how do you check uh phone number field uh, in that first i will check whether uh, based on which country code it is uh, then I'll add any special keys like uh, in between we can use and uh, we should have to give any alphabets. If alphabets are accepted, then we'll consider it as defects. Okay. So in case alphabets are accepted, at the time we can call it as a defect, right? Mm, yes. So after raising the defect, like what are the what are the precautions you are following whenever you are raising the defect? Uh, whenever. Uh, Whenever we are raising a defect, first we will uh, tell to the developer that uh, we have got here a defect, so we have to be correct and recode it. Okay. Then he will uh, look further. Yeah, after completion of the code and everything, then developer will send to the tester. Yes. At that time, which step of testing you will do? Smoke testing. Smoke testing. And then you will do the retesting, yes. right? Yes, sir. Yeah. yeah. Could you please explain about the SDLC phases? Uh, SDLC phases are. Uh, Initial, uh, initial analyze, uh, initial as analyze testing, and production maintenance. Could you explain about each and every phase? Uh, in initial, phase you will involve in the SDLC. Okay, sir. Yeah. Uh, based on a role of tester, after initializing, uh, we uh, developer will analyze whether what is. Uh, uh, code and everything uh, based on testing we'll go for uh, positive and negative testing like uh, we'll do boundary value analysis um, if it is pos uh, positive and negative testing if it is fast then we'll uh, do smoke testing and record that mm -hmm. we'll send it to further sir. after testing what exactly happened uh, after testing if uh, product was okay and everything is good then we'll uh, go for uh, production yeah, before production we have two types of testings 
alpha testing and yeah. beta testing so could you please explain that uh, in alpha testing uh, end to end we have to check whether uh, product is uh, good or not where you will uh, verify the alpha testing your client location or within the organization within organization next beta beta testing is uh, within client we have to uh, review about that okay so if i am giving a radio button do you know the radio button mm-hmm. male female radio button is there. yeah okay sir how you are checking uh male female radio button actually uh, should be on uh, one click only that uh, if we have to select uh, male or female okay. but uh, if we if we have a chance to select two then it will be considered as defect okay then we can inform developer that uh, it is not working properly and we can raise an error there okay. what are the drawbacks of the waterfall model waterfall model it is a step by step process and it is time taking process uh, in middle of uh, st- in middle of stage new requirement is not allowed and what are the advantages of the agile model uh, agile model uh, we, uh, we can be get clarity about a project um, that means we will be having uh, at every step uh, PO sign in every uh, everyone will be working there so we won't have any problem in that everyone will be doing their own duties uh, compared to waterfall model and uh, agile model which model is better agile model sir Main because uh, please explain about at least 2 minutes about agile model agile, yes. yeah, uh, okay sir uh, in agile model actually uh, will uh, more numbers will be working in that model so we, it will be like less time taking and work will be done in perfect mo- uh, perfect way there will be uh, no confusion between them uh, they will do their works about that and uh, but a- in agile model it will be expensive but work process it will be clear and clarity about that uh, what are the roles available in the agile model uh, how many roles we have sir s- seven roles like uh, who are involved in agile model um developer uh developer tester mm-hmm. scrum master yes. um developer tester scrum master and then next one developer tester scrum master and in the waterfall model who are uh, po spo okay so like uh, whenever you are is you are using the waterfall model mm-hmm. okay at the time you find out a one defect mm. the defect is sent to the developer the developer will not accept developer will yeah. not accept at the time what did you do um actually uh, developer will uh, not accept the defect okay at the time what you are going to do then i'll say to the developer that it is the developer again telling like it is a not a defect you don't know how to test the um, application is it then who like next to what is your approach uh i'll uh, i'll approach uh, business analysis good okay business analysis depends upon the business analysis was then you are following on yes. right okay what are the drawbacks of the fish model uh, fish model in every step uh, review processes will be going on so and what are the advantages of the fish model uh, advantages of uh, fish model it will be like good quality sir because we will be giving uh, at every stage review will be taken so we'll get a good product in that good what quality what is the workflow of the agile model uh, agile model workflow will be like uh, first it will be like bo uh, po sign in then we will it will be ready for uh, refinement uh, ready for development development in progress uh, then pr review will be done uh, pr review will be done and then uh, it will be ready for qa qa uh, qa will be in progress um, qa will be in progress then uh, po will be signed off and it will be closed okay uh, do you have any questions nihal um no sir yeah thank you thank you so much thank you